Oh, uh, sweet. So, before, like, the final track in the LP, I don't know if you count this as an LP or if you don't count it. I don't care, man. I'm calling it an LP. You can call it an EP, a mixtape, whatever. But, um, take this time to, like, I don't know, spark something up. I don't know, get something to eat, get something to drink, uh, listen to the album again. I don't know. But I just wanted to speak about something. I just wanted to read a little thing that I wrote quite a while ago. It's a few months ago. But yeah, just like... This is an important moment to reflect on my thoughts and my surroundings. Am I really connected with the things around me? I believe everyone is connected on a deeper and more spiritual level. And we're one with the things around us. We are all one entire being, but moving through different speeds and places. It really is hard to describe. Even though we're made of the same physical things as everyone else surrounding us, like water, iron, and different chemicals, there's something unique in us making a person themselves. What really is the consciousness? The consciousness is something really in every living animal on the planet, but it all varies with different, like, heights. Human consciousness is no different than a fly's consciousness, and a baby's consciousness is no different than a spider's consciousness. The only thing that varies is the consciousness's ability to reason and think with dignity, sense, and intelligence. Human consciousness is all situated within the person themselves, but where is it in precisely? Like, is it in the brain, or the soul, or the body? Like... The consciousness is the actual thing that's moving through this dimension of ours, and the human body is being used only as a carrier for the consciousness, a passenger experiencing the world on a train, a student being taken through classes by a teacher. The human bodies are the students, and the consciousness is the teacher. We don't control or use the thoughts, we are just passengers observing them.